In my previous video I promised you that more digital scope adventures are coming soon. More digital scope adventures are coming soon. And I keep my promises. So I present to you the Commander NV400 Digital Day and Night Scope by One Leaf. You can clearly see that it's already mounted on one of my rifles. Those of you who follow my content or own this gun will recognize it. And those of you watching for the first time will find out a bit later in this video when the pest control starts. Now let's focus on the latest release by One Leaf, which is definitely a step in the right direction for the brand. The unit may be described as a bit on the heavy side by some shooters. It tips the scales at 2 pounds and is also not amongst the shortest ones at a little over 14 inches in length. But what it lacks in compactness, it definitely makes up for with the multitude of features and functionalities it has to offer. The NV400 comes with so many accessories that I decided to show you rather than list them. But please bear in mind that the laser range finder is optional and costs a little extra. The 4x optical zoom and 13x digital magnification ensure you can use the scope in all shooting scenarios. And you can record your shots at a resolution of 4K at 120 frames per second, so that later you can prove your ever so doubtful fellow hunters that you did take that shot and you actually managed to hit your target. The scope has an inbuilt compass and gyroscope, both of which are quite well displayed on screen along with the rest of the widgets. But you should know that you won't see those on your video files, at least not for the time being. One Leaf tell me such a functionality will probably be made available via a firmware update sometime in the near future. A feature I love about the NV400 is it has both mil radian and MOA reticles. And you can switch between first focal plane and second focal plane mode, which to me is a huge advantage. There is no onboard ballistic calculator that will adjust the position of your crosshairs, but for a guy like me using hold over and hold under, a true mill reticle in first focal plane is all I need to cover the different distances at which I shoot. What I definitely dislike is in first focal plane mode the reticle size remains absolutely the same on the video recordings. It increases along with the image on the viewfinder, but on the video file its size remains the same. I brought this to the attention of One Leaf and they promised they would look into it. Just like most regular scopes, you have adapter adjustment on the eyepiece and a parallax adjustment at the front lens. Speaking of which, One Leaf boasts about an extra bright image due to the six groups of lenses at the front, which actually explains the weight of the unit too. The lens cover must be on when shooting in day mode and removed when shooting in nighttime mode. The threaded cover can be replaced with the flip-up cap included in the kit or complemented with this tubular sunshade for the days with abundant sunlight. On the left hand side you mount the laser range finder if you choose to get one with your scope that is, which is worth it I'd say as this gadget has a detection range of 1100 yards. Installing it is fairly easy and intuitive. as is the installation of the IR torch. It's good all the way to 440 yards and as can be expected its beam can be adjusted between flood and spot. Do not expect to have your normal elevation and windage turrets where they usually are. Right hand side you have a connection console with a Type-C and HDMI ports and a micro SD card slot as well. The Type-C port is used to recharge your unit too. 
This is a good place to mention that the NV400 has what the guys at OneLeaf call a dual power supply system. In the scope tube there are two non-removable batteries, type 18650, and inside the upper turret there is a single replaceable 18500 battery. But there is more to it. The turret in question comes with two different caps, one for the stock 18500 battery and a larger one which enables you to fit an 18650 battery there. Since the two turrets are deprived of their usual windage and elevation functions, the one shot zero of the scope is to be found in the menu of the device, just like the rest of the many functionalities of the NV400. Simple and efficient operation, narrowed down to just four buttons, the menu is quite intuitive. And I know I say intuitive a lot, but that's exactly what a piece of shooting gear must be in order to serve its intended purpose, and namely extensive use in field conditions. So I will walk you through those briefly to give you an idea of the most important bits and pieces. The OK slash menu button also activates your laser ranging when you're not browsing through the menu. This knob also rotates by which you navigate through the various options of the menu or zoom in or out when you're not in it. This button is used for video recording or capturing stills as suggested by the icons on it. With this one you adjust the viewfinder brightness or play back your recordings. With the one on the left you turn on and off the picture-in-picture -picture mode or switch between the three image modes of the device – day, night and star. It's worth mentioning that the star mode of the NV400 is designed for low-light conditions without the use of the infrared torch. I'm gonna stop right here and leave any further details for you to find on the OneLeaf website. Now let me show you how this device performs in the field in daytime mode, or in other words, the Skyrod Pest Control is about to begin. I'm already here at my grain bin permission and as you may have noticed, I've mounted the NV400 on my Prophet 2 performance version, that's 2. And no, even though the P3 is out, I haven't given up on that great gun. The wind is just crazy today, 20 miles per hour. Check out those trees. That is 50 yards upward incline. I have to hold under a little bit. Excellent. It was a pretty loud bang. Check this out. I hope that the scope managed to record it. Now that's 48 yards. The bird is indoors. I am outdoors. There is abundant sunlight. Hence the image quality. A little bit of hold under. Straight down. In case you're wondering, a lot of sunlight in the background, hence the glare in the scope cam footage. The pigeon was in there. That's 56 yards. Wind is from the right. I think I'm gonna hold a little. I'm sure you can hear the annoying high-pitched background noise. It appeared on several video clips and then stopped just like that. <laughs> it just froze. I'm pretty certain this was due to an interference of some sort, either by the security system at that place or by my own recording equipment. <laughs> How is that for windy conditions? 56 yards, upward angle, and as you can tell by their feathers in their position, wind is from the right, and it's pretty strong. Good. 
All right, let me set it down here in the shade. Because of the wind, I was aiming here. And let me show you where the point of impact is. It's right here. I was right to hold for wind. She made a late appearance today. Come on, you know the drill. Come on. Just this once. Just this once. Okay, you do realize you're being ridiculous. Here. Close to me. Thirty yards and this one is indoors and that's something that I love about the dedicated digital night vision scopes you can shoot at the same times both in indoors and outdoors good and there is my trusted companion too who is wondering where exactly the pigeon landed. Yeah, people, I'm not going to shoot the cat. I'm just filming through my scope. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to take her to the pigeon. Okay, silly, come on, follow me. Yeah, yeah, enough with the hissing, come on. Are you kidding me right now? Hello boys, indoors again. Very dramatic and very artistic. Just a couple of minutes later. Really? Hello there. That wasn't a shot from a very comfortable position. I was crouching right there. And the pigeon was... Let me show you. It was up there. I didn't even get the chance to measure this shot. It was fairly close, I think 25 yards or so. And where is it? Uh huh. An instant kill. Yes, I know that you are annoyed, but we're going to try that same thing again. Where is the pigeon? I'm waiting. So close now. That's about 40 yards. No, actually I was wrong, the distance was 47 yards and let me say, this is the first time that I managed to shoot two pigeons up there on that weird piece of machinery. That's 50 yards, you guys. And that's one more dead pigeon that remained up there. This one is at 46 yards. Oh no, stay still. I hit him, but he made it inside the warehouse. 
There she goes again. The sun is about to set soon. This is probably going to be one of my last shots for the day. Six yards, different angle. And there she is again. Fifty three yards, and the glare is brutal. That's 60 yards. You stole every single pigeon that I shot today. You better have young ones. How do you stay so slim? Well, what can I say? I'm very pleased with the performance of my gear. Both the Prophet 2, which keeps singing its gruesome song after each shot I take, and the Commander NV400, which is the first dedicated digital day and night scope by One Leaf. It is a great unit, although not an ideal one. My two cents is, it's a couple of firmware updates away from perfection for the price tag. And I'm sure the guys at One Leaf are already working on improving it. I hope you found this video both enjoyable and useful. And stay tuned for the nighttime field test of the NV400, which is coming very soon. Cheers, guys, and see you on the next one.